Hey everyone, Chris here. Got some new findings that I think are going to be um, uh, very, very important, um, possibly with, within the whole concept of, of cancer, within mutation of cells within the body, and uh, ultimately within um, uh, extreme health problems with, within all people. And, and that is working within the carbon base. Now, uh, we know that we are carbon base life forms. Um, and one of the concepts is with ascension, we're going to become crystalline. Um, now, what I'm finding is, is that the carbon base within the, the atoms of our body can be affected <clears throat> um, by a, an energy. Let's call it an energy weapon, sonic energy, particle energy, scalar energy, all these different types of energy weapons that the military are using. And this could very well be um, something used by ET, okay? What, what I've found is, is that if, if there is a weapon being placed upon our carbon base, um, it could stop the, the carbon from transmuting to crystalline. Okay, uh, that that to me is is their way of stopping the us, uh, us from ascending. So um, now, if if the electromagnetic field in the carbon base uh, is disrupted, so now the the atoms with the neutrons and protons that, that go around now separate and mix with other ones, thus a mutation of cells starts to occur. So when when a tumor is present. That, that could be because the, the cells are mutating and becoming this tumor. So within a few people already, I started working with, with this concept of, of uh, stopping the, um, the, 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 the energy weapon, which is generally a sonic energy weapon, a sound, uh, by stopping that, putting a, a block on it, and, and then we can transmute the, the, the base uh, from, from carbon to crystalline and, and that tends to start the healing process then you can remove the tumor then you can change things at a different level uh, so, so that <laughs> this is something that I'm working quite a bit on uh, in my whole concept of trying to find the cause of all these really bad critical health problems within people and we are going onward and upward um, working at uh, different levels of, um, of mind. Working, we have mind, ego, we have heart mind, and then we also have stomach mind, which is the gut feeling. So that is uh, another concept we're, we're working with, and then also increasing mind speed. If there's an entity involved that is at a very high level, we, we need to be able to, to go faster than it to catch it, okay? Uh, you know, Wiley e. Coyote and the Roadrunner, if you will. So, so by increasing your mind speed, and to do that, you intend the element ruthenium within your mind, within your brain. That'll increase the mind speed, go from uh, 800 cycles per second and, and on upward. So that that has been helpful. So the whole carbon binder, carbon binder of, of our atomic structure, I think is being bombarded and changed. Um, the, the concept of extreme pain within people's body, I think, is, is a very big concept of this. Because that, that bombardment of energy can create a scar tissue with, within the body, can create some disruption within the cells, creating scar tissue. So that's another concept. So things are, <laughs> things are certainly changing. Ask and you shall receive. I've been asking for all of these these answers to questions and I, I think it's, it's starting to get there we're getting into more of, of a reality of things instead of a lot of the woohoo stuff which, which you know had its validity but I think we're getting much deeper now in, into what the concepts really are uh, so keep in touch keep watching and we're gonna get you some more answers we're gonna figure out this whole problem Chris Kaler out